Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number 29 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams to the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have and what their squad is currently looking like. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at this first team today, which comes in from 1,003. He has 256k MT. Says he replaced LeBron with Zion, but doesn't know how to really use and enjoy him. Plan on getting City and Harden for the team. Okay, cool. So let's talk about this team. Let's talk about how we can make it better. So first things first, 256k MT is not a terrible amount. You have a pretty decent core squad. Uh, to use Zion better, first and foremost, um, he should be, you should be trying to take advantage of his fade. His fade is probably his best move. I think that's going to be your go-to dribble move with Zion uh, or, or go-to move with him is going to be sh learning his tray fade because that is really, really nice. Also attacking the rim and using him as a screener and a slipper can be really, really effective. Um, with that being said, with a team like this, I like Dr. J, but I almost kind of think that you want to like play Zion and LeBron as your small forwards and sell Dr. J to free up a lot of MT. Um, I just think, I don't know, you could, that frees up another 100K MT-ish for your team. Then you're looking at 350K and all of a sudden you go pick up a KP and you bring Wimby off, your be off the bench and your lineup looks a lot better in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, I just think KP is better than Wimby personally. Uh, and then I think having him off the bench would be nice. Like that's an option. Uh, another option would be to use the MT elsewhere and not do that. Uh, you could swap Julius Irving for somebody like a Paul George who fits a little better at the small forward position. Uh, you could even just use Zion and Leonard Miller, for example, or Zion and LeBron uh, and be fine. Like I said, with free cards and those spots and uh, save your MT for future drops. Cause I don't think you need to make upgrades right now, but I think if you have Zion and Braun, there's really no need to keep this Dr. J is kind of what I'm saying. That's the main thing. Honestly would not hurt with this team, especially to consider grinding for that Austin Reeves as well. Although if you're planning on getting Moncrief slash heart and you don't really need Reeves. So I think you're fine for right now though. I just don't think Dr. J I feel like it's a waste of MT to have him at the three. Um, second squad today comes in from blinders. He's got 957 K. That's a lot. He was considering buying KP and he wants to know if he needs any changes. So this is a good team. He's got SGA, Kobe Pippen. And then off the bench, he's got Harden, PG and Kawhi. Uh, his one through three, it starters and bench. I like a lot. Zion, I would just take out of the lineup entirely. I don't think I'd be putting him in here. Um, Jokic, Wimby, AD and Tyson are your four best bigs. You don't need to upgrade. Like for me personally, the lineup I'd probably be running would be something along the lines of Jokic, Tyson, and then AD Wimby off the bench would probably be the lineup I'd run. If you do want to get KP, maybe he replaces ad or wimby and then you go tyson kp starting and off the bench you go something like Jokic ad or ad Jokic or Jokic wimby or whatever you like something along those lines uh if you do want to get kp but i don't think that's really a necessity and with this team there's no card that i think is a necessity i think you could kind of just rearrange this team a little bit and uh, get tyson a little more involved change some things up and i think you'll be fine i like having luke as a third point guard more of a defensive bigger option as well that's kind of nice so it's a good team though for sure third team is from x uh he's got 227k this team is a newer team, I would say, in a lot of ways. Um, not a bad squad. He's got Jonathan Isaac and Peja as his only two auctionable players. Everybody else is not auctionable. I will say with this team, 31K for Marcus Smart is a good little price, I think. I think he could be a little up. Well, I say that Donovan Mitchell and Jeremy Lin, is he really that much of an upgrade over Jeremy Lin? He's got better release, but he doesn't have quite as complete stats and bad as a base card. Maybe you just leave your point guard the way it is um, for the time being anyway, until you can pay for more of an expensive point guard upgrade. Uh, I would 100% at level 26 though, 27 tokens. You got to grind for that hard and you got to grind towards that um, Sidney Moncrief as well, because both of those guys will hugely upgrade your point guard position. Not to mention, if you went out and grinded for Reeves, Reeves and Jaron would both upgrade your lineup as, as well. For example, if you had Reeves, Chris Middleton, Zion, Jaron, and Wimby as your starting lineup. And then off the bench, you had Donovan Mitchell, uh, Jimmy Butler, Peja, Jonathan Isaac, and, um, or Peja, Chet. You could sell Jonathan Isaac, and then you could have him beat off the bench at your backup five still. I really like that. Then you can consider going and working towards that Tyson Chandler as well. And then you got Tyson, Jaron, and Reeves. Those three guys are huge free upgrades. Uh, Moncrief Harden can also be big upgrades. Like there's a lot of good reward cards that you can still go out there and grind for without having to buy cards to make uh, to make your team better right now. And I think grinding for some of those rewards is the best thing you can do because that'll continue to make, make you more MT as you go. Uh, and some of those guys can really help your team. So this next team is from Psycho Savage. He says he needs help. He's got D-Book, he's got Beasley, he's got Embiid, Wimby, and Diamond D-Rob. Bench is kind of weird. This is kind of a weird team. It certainly could use some help um, and ways to help this team. Well, first and foremost, 
three budget cards that you could buy that will help you out are um, Peyton Watson, Marcus Smart, and um, Leonard Williams. All three, or sorry, not Leonard Williams, Leonard Miller. All three of those guys can that could be your bench backcourt right there. Peyton, uh, or sorry, uh, point guard is Marcus Smart, shooting guard is Peyton Watson, and small forward is um, Leonard Miller. Your backup power forward being Camby, I don't love. This is one of, again, if you could go get Jaron Jackson Jr. or Tyson Chandler, either one of those guys, grindable. Uh, they're probably going to take similar amounts of time to grind for, to be fair. But one of those two guys would be a huge upgrade to this team. Um, being able to, or there aren't, isn't really a great, great grindable shooting guard right now, but uh, Chris Middleton's a good option. Like, he's uh, attainable in multiple different modes. I don't know what modes you're playing right now, but whatever mode you're closest to Middleton, I might go get him as well. He'd be a big upgrade. Like guys like that can be huge game changers. Tyson, Jaron, Middleton, Reeves, Moncrief, Harden, etc. There's just so many good free rewards and teams like this. I see this type of team and I go, go play a few different game modes for a couple hours and pick one or two cards that you want to grind for and go find a way to get those guys over the next couple days. Cause if you focus and go decide you're, I'm going to go get Austin Reeves and Jaron Jackson Jr. Or, I'm going to go get Tyson Chandler or I'm going to go earn um, the tokens for, for Moncrief or I'm going to go try to get level 40. Like whatever you may do, it's going to make you MT. Just set your mind to it and decide where you want to go. Uh, but I think you're going to have to do some grinding here because you can pick up some budget cards. Like I said, Marcus Smart, Peyton Watson, even if you wanted to buy it, like I, I think Kobe's fine off the bench. I guess you could start Peyton Watson at the two and bring Kobe off the bench next to Smart and Leonard Miller for the time being. But you could buy a few budget cards, but at, the at some point, you're going to have to make more upgrades, and you're going to have to start grinding some of those other reward cards out. Second to last team today comes in from DMAC. He's got... He says he's going to have about 550 KMT once he gets the pink time and option pack. Vince, Giannis, and Wang are badged out. This is a good team, no doubt. I like the squad, and I like Vince being badged out. I don't want to take him out of the lineup if that's the case. Uh, point guard position is fine. Shooting guard position is fine. Small forward position is fine. Power forward position. I like Tyson better than Giannis, without a doubt. Even a badged Giannis, I'm still running Tyson. And then Wang and D-Rob, I think Wang is probably better. AD off the bench is a nice option as well. For me, I just don't love Giannis. If you really like Giannis, I guess. But I'd be starting... Mm, I'd be starting Tyson at the four personally. Really, what I would do though is I would start bring Tyson. If you really like this starting lineup the way that it's configured, I would bring Tyson to the backup five, AD to the backup four, and I would probably sell D Rob, sell Kawhi, sell those types of guys that you have um, that you can still make some MT back off of. And that's going to make you even more MT. So then you're looking at 600K maybe instead of 550. Now you can go buy a big, you can go buy a KP if you want. You could go buy a guard to replace uh, Marcus Smart if you want to with somebody like a Devin Booker. Like there are options out there to go make big upgrades if you want to, but also I don't think you really need to if you do that. It's, it's very much up to you and what you want to do with your squad. Um, last team today comes in from Max. He's got 928K. He has a good team. Reeves off the bench as a playmaker. I like. It's a really good squad, honestly. Um, I like the use of the two point guards and then his... I mean, this is a good team, man. This is a really good team. I don't understand why Jaron Jackson Jr. isn't in your lineup, though, to be honest. Because this team, to me, looks like a go Moncrief, Kobe, Zion, Jaron, and Tyson. And then off the bench, you go Reeves, Kawhi, Porter, AD, and Wemby. And to me, I like the flexibility, athleticism of that offensive line, of that starting lineup better. And off the bench, I just think Wemby at the five is going to give you more ability than Chet. Chet's a little weak, uh, and he's also obviously smaller and not going to provide quite as much resistance. So for me... I, that's that's the main thing I would be changing out is I would just be putting Jaron in the lineup. Now, what you could also do is you could go just buy a KP. KP is a much better version of a guy like Chet. He's Chet with more strength, um, similar shooting ability, just like a very similar card to Chet in a lot of ways, but a better overall option in my opinion. So that would be an alternate solution. And you have 928K, so you can afford that if you want to. Overall, you have the MT flexibility to go get guys if you want, and you already have a really good squad. So I like this team as well. I like the way a lot of people's teams are coming together and the way that people are still finding ways to build good squads without giving in to this gambling only uh, that 2K has been doing recently. So hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.